In this tutorial in ProPresenter 6, I'm going to show you how to create a template from scratch. In order to begin the process, you move to the icon in the toolbar that says Template. And then down near the bottom, you click on New Template Group. It wants to give the group a name. We'll call this name uh, just Test for now. And click on the Save button. Now I have a slide here that I can use to edit. It looks like our familiar slide editing window that we find in other parts of ProPresenter 6. I'm going to do things a little bit quickly. If uh, you don't understand exactly how I'm doing what I'm doing and why, we encourage you to look at our other lesson on slide editing and we'll cover all the features that I'll be using. Uh, for this particular one, let's assume I want to put a background on. So I'm going to click on this icon here and find an image that I want to use. And let me see, let me go to my OneDrive and select a picture. I'll pick this one here. And now I have a picture in the background. I'm going to need to scale it a little bit. So I'll drag the handles on the corner and make it a little larger and move it back here. And now I have a different background for my slide. I will put it uh, into the background and now I have my text editing on the, the, the top but it's white letters on a white background. Well I don't want that so I will change the color of my letters. Let's go maybe to a blue and we'll close my color picker here and we'll make it bold and we'll make them maybe a little bit larger yet okay and then I may want to make sure that the lyrics uh, uh, the window for the lyrics is a certain size shrink it that way move it a little bit this way so it's not too much in my tree and there I have I have a template now I, it's, it, right now it has no name to it, so I will right click on it and choose a label for it, and then I'll choose Other. And I will call this um, Galilee. I'm not going to save that label, but I will call it that. I'll click on OK. Now if I want another template in the same group to look slightly different, I can do that as well. Um, all I need to do is click on Add Slide with the plus in the lower left corner. Okay, and now we'll edit this slide. I'll use a different background here just for fun so you can see the process. So we'll go back up to our my OneDrive and my pictures over here. And let's uh, pick this one here. And again, I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, stretch it just a little bit so it fits better on the, on the screen. I don't have any black. All right, there we go. All right, that will work. Okay, and I click on it. Okay, I'll send it to the back. And now again, I have light text. I want a different text. For fun here, let's just choose black this time. Okay. And I'll close my color picker. And again, I'll make it bold. I'll change the font a little bit. Um, let me use Arial Rounded. Okay, we'll change the size again. Okay, and we'll call this, um, uh, give it a label again, we'll call it Galilee 2. All right, now I have a template with two. I could create one of thirds, I could create one and call it like they do in their other template sections, other kinds of things, but this gives you an idea how easy it is to create multiple uh, templates. Now I'm going to close the window. Now let's assume we want to apply these templates. Well. I will click on the last two slides here and uh, I will click template and I will choose my test and you can't see on this screen but it gives me two options the two I made I'll pick the first one and there it there it went it gave me that for all of the slides let's say I want the last slide to be different I'll, I'll uh, click on the slide and I'll go to template I'll go to test 
And then on your screen, you should be able to see the other picture if you want. And I'll click that one on there. And I changed everything. You can change it back and forth as much as you want. And so I'll click over here and there is my template that I created all by myself in ProPresenter version 6. We trust that this tutorial in ProPresenter 6 about helping you to design and build your own templates from scratch has been of use to you. If you found it helpful, we'd like to ask you to like us and to subscribe to our channel here at the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.